Honored guests, respected elders, my brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May the peace, divine blessings, and benevolence of God Almighty be with each and every one of us. I wish to extend a very cordial welcome to each and every one of you to this, the Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, Canada. Before we start the symposium, we will ask our Kari Sirajuddin to recite a portion of the Quran, the Book of Guidance, so we can invoke the blessings of God Almighty on this program. Kari <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wa bi kufrihim wa qawlihim ala maryam buhtanan azima Wa bi kufrihim wa qawlihim Thank you very much, Kari Sahib. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, would you join with me in welcoming the Council General of South Africa, Mr. Patrick Evans. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. 
I'm very honored to be with you here this evening to be able to share this very special occasion with you. I'm particularly honored to be here to meet with and to help welcome you to Toronto to one of the great sons of South Africa, Sheikh Ahmed Didat. Today starts. You will all have, know, have heard that we have recently found peace in South Africa, peace amongst all of our people. This peace was not found easily, but the first steps on the road to finding this peace were taken when we began communicating with one another when we began speaking to one another as equals. In speaking to one another, and I'm talking here about as amongst people who are as different from one another as it is possible for people in the world to be different from one another. In talking to one another, we discovered understanding for each other, love for each other, and in that love and understanding, we found peace in our country. And may God give us this peace forever. I hope that in listening to these two great men this evening, that there will be greater understanding between the two great religions of the world, that there will be greater understanding and peace in all the world amongst all the people. And I'm very honored to be here this evening to be able to share in this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Evans. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Usman Khan, and I will be your moderator for this evening. As such, my task is to ensure the fair and proper conduct of these proceedings. And being a Muslim, this enhances my position, position of impartiality. And to assist in this regard, I'll expect all to proceed with due decorum. I need the cooperation from you, the audience, to ensure the success of this symposium. It gives me great pleasure at this point to give a brief background and biography of firstly, Bishop General Wakefield. Born Bishop General Wesley H. Wakefield, an evangelist who hails from British Columbia. He was instrumental in reorganizing the home mission, which in 1946 became the Bible Holiness Movement. This movement adheres to the common evangelical faith in the Bible, the deity and the atonement of Christ. It stresses a personal experience of the salvation for the repentant sinner. Membership involves a life of Christian love and evangelistic and social activism. Members are required to totally abstain from liquor and tobacco. 
divorce and remarriage are forbidden. It is internationally linked to famine relief, civil rights action, environment protection, and anti-nuclearism. The movement sponsors a permanent committee on religious freedom and an active promotion of Christian racial equality. It ministers to 89 countries in 42 languages through literature, radio, and audio cassettes. It was in this movement 